Let's see. I think I'm going the right way. With all the fog, it's hard to tell. And indeed, I've entered Rosewater Park. Now, this part is a little annoying because the camera, as usual, refuses to cooperate, and you don't really have a more detailed map of this place. So this is that park. I just said that. Mary, are you here? Let's find out. This place does get rather convoluted. Well, we don't seem to care about the gate at all. The thing is, there are several little alcoves and gazebos and such that you can look in. Some of them have items for you. And it can make the place feel a lot bigger than it is, because it will get you turned around fast. Okay, there's something on the bench here. Handgun bullets. And then you have these branching paths. Wonderful. A health drink. I'll certainly take that. have an odd statue here. Patrick Chester, son of Edward. He fought and died for the people, for liberty, and for all of our tomorrows. His memory lives on. Well, good for him, then. It does help to pay attention if James starts looking at something, because it usually means there's something of interest to pick up, like these handgun bullets. I think one more box and I replenish everything that I spend on Pyramid Head, actually. Where the heck am I? Still in this area? Really? I would have thought I would have been further along by now. Is this caution sign anything? Nothing of interest, apparently. Caution, you may get lost in the fog. It is, yeah, like I said, extremely easy to get turned around in here. Wait, this is the gazebo again, isn't it? Okay, I'm facing the direction I need to go if I follow this way. Another health drink. Nice. Putting it mildly. I'm looking for Mary. Have you seen her? Didn't you say she died? Oh, yeah, three years ago. But I got a letter from her. She says she was waiting in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Bit of a cut in here. Well, there's the hotel, too, I guess. The one on the lake? I wonder if it's still there. The Lakeview Hotel? Yeah, it's still there. So, the hotel was your special place, huh? I'll bet it 
was. <laughs> Don't get so mad. I was just joking. Anyway, it's not that way. It's this way. You're coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? No, but... With all these monsters around? No, I just... I'm all alone here. Everyone else is gone. I look like... Mary, don't I? You loved her, right? <laughs> or maybe... You hated her. Don't be ridiculous. So it's okay? Yeah, fine. And thus we have baggage. EA. Uh, I always love escort missions. No, not really. No, I don't. If Maria should be killed, that is game over. Wonderful. There are various things that influence what ending you get as well including how well you care for Maria. In memory of the 67 who died of illness and now sleep beneath the lake. Charming. So now we need to get out of the park. But there's not really anything else of major interest here. Sorry about that. Stop getting in my way. That's why I don't like baggage missions. God, there's one I have going on in Samurai Warriors 3 right now that is just being incredibly annoying. I believe Kit's having the same frustrations I am, except he's one level ahead of me and says that one's even worse. Victim of persecution by... something. Janet something. Carol lived with pride and honor. What happened here shall never be forgotten. Let's see. Where the heck am I? Okay, I'm going the right way. Slowly but surely. And we're starting to get static again. Oh, hi there. It's a mannequin. Oh, did you just smack me? Get down and stay down. Where the heck did you come from? This way? Well, there's something that James is looking at, I think. Or are you just looking at Maria? Another reason to hate baggage missions. Yeah, you're just staring at her. Oh, we're not too interested in the parking lot. But Jack's Inn is a good place to go. Oh, the mannequins are just everywhere now. At this point, with Maria following us, melee combat is a much better option. You can actually damage your baggage. You can actually kill Maria yourself. And a single shot from the handgun will do it. So, yeah, best to avoid that. Anyway, we have another save point here. We're at the motel. So with that, I think we've done enough for now. We've made some very decent progress. So I think this is where we're going to call this one for now. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vids. And I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.
Essentially, you just want to keep your distance. Pyramid Head can do a lot of damage to you, and fast, as one would expect. And when he does that overhead swing, especially. The overhead swing is a one-hit kill if that contacts you. So, order of the day, don't let that hit you. Kinda like I just let that hit me. Oops. Didn't quite think it had that much range. <laughs> Wrong.